Hello students, so in this video, we will discuss about the topic single cell protein, which is abbreviated as SCP, single cell protein, that is SCP. Okay, before uh, getting into the topic, let us see what is the significance of this SCP and what for uh, we have to go for this single cell protein production. Already in the previous video, we discussed that more than 840 million people in the world are not getting adequate food and 3 billion people are suffering with hidden hunger with unbalanced diet. So, here uh, we have to uh, consider not only the food that is required for uh, the human beings, but also the food that is required for uh, the cattle, because uh, we are uh, depending on the cattle also. So, the conventional methods by which we are uh, cultivating the plants, by conventional methods, by which we are cultivating the plants, what are those conventional methods? Hybridization and selection methods. These are not uh, uh, sufficient to face the demand as uh, the population is going on increasing in the world. That's why the scientists are uh, searching for uh, different uh, uh, areas for uh, uh, more productivity and especially the food that contains more amount of proteins and uh, vitamins. And one such uh, uh, food that contains a higher amount of proteins is uh, single cell protein. So, the single cell protein can be defined like this. Protein rich biomass, protein rich biomass, which is used as food or feed is called SCP. Means what food for uh, human beings and feed for the cattle. Okay. So, that is protein rich biomass. But of course, actually, when uh, we talk about uh, SCP, immediately we think that uh, it is obtained only from unicellular organisms or from single cell. Not at all like that. So, actually, it is not only obtained from unicellular microorganisms, but is also obtained from multicellular microorganisms. Okay, so and uh, uh, this SCP is rich in high protein and low fat. Of course, you know that uh, nowadays uh, uh, people are suffering with uh, uh, diabetes and uh, uh, high blood pressure and uh, it is all due to presence of uh, higher amount of fats in their food. So, the doctors are recommending now uh, uh, to uh, take uh, less amount of fats. So, if uh, one takes this SCP, they will get uh, low fat from this SCP. Okay, but uh, there are some uh, uh, limitations also there in the production of uh, this SCP because this SCP will contain what uh, uh, high amount of uh, nucleic acids, DNA and RNA. And also, some SCP will contain uh, uh, these uh, uh, heavy metals and uh, some SCP will contain uh, toxins also. So, that's why what we have to do is that uh, we have to take care okay, to remove this excess amount of nucleic acids and heavy metals or toxins. So, care has to be taken to remove excess nucleic acids and heavy metals or toxins present in the biomass. Okay. And now uh, uh, let us uh, discuss about uh, what are the microbes that are uh, used uh, uh, for uh, obtaining this SCP. 
okay so the, the microbes organisms are microorganisms which can be used for obtaining scp or okay so fungi cyanobacteria and bacteria okay fungi cyanobacteria and bacteria and these fungi include the fusarium graminearum fusarium graminearum and agaricus bisporus is another fungus which is popularly known as mushrooms and nowadays uh, the people are uh, uh, taking mushrooms as uh, uh, food and uh, mushrooms contain what high amount of protein and also some minerals will be there which are not available in other uh, vegetables so uh, this is a popularly cultivated uh, variety which is called white button mushroom its uh, scientific name is agaricus bisporus and uh, cultivating these mushrooms is also very easy so on uh, waste materials oh, these uh, agaricus can be cultivated okay so like that uh, that is fungi and uh, the most uh, popular uh, cyanobacteria or blue green alga is spirulina and this spirulina can be grown easily on waste water from potatoes what is this waste water from uh, potato plants potato plants means uh, uh, you know that uh, uh, in potato processing units so whenever they want to make some uh, potato chips or some other items so they will uh, peel the skin and they wash uh, these potato tubers and uh, uh, even when they want to make the chips they will uh, cut them into slices and then they wash them before uh, frying or baking and uh, that water will contain what starch so that water can be used for cultivating this spirulina and uh, or we can use the straw or we can use the molasses that is uh, uh, after extracting uh, the sugar from uh, the sugar cane so the leftover material is called molasses that can be used for uh, culturing uh, this spirulina and like that uh, even animal manure can be used uh, uh, for culturing uh, the spirulina and not only that it will grow even on uh, the sewage material sewage water can be used so that means what uh, uh, the investment is very less but uh, the profits will be more when uh, uh, we culture this uh, spirulina like that and uh, uh, when we come to the bacteria okay so the bacteria okay uh, one bacterium is given here that is methylophilus methylotrophus methylophilus methylotrophus and uh, uh, when we compare uh, the protein uh, uh, productivity okay let us compare with uh, uh, a cow which is uh, giving us milk daily and whatever the amount of milk let us say uh, 20 liters of milk per day and the, in that 20 liters uh, milk you will find how much protein 200 grams protein and what is the weight of uh, that cow okay around 250 kilograms so 250 kilogram weighing cow is uh, uh, producing 200 grams of protein per day and now uh, uh, let us uh, take uh, this one this uh, uh, we are taking 250 grams of bacteria 200 grams of bacteria and that 200 grams of bacteria will produce a biomass which contains 25 tons of protein per day 25 tons protein per day i hope uh, you are understanding how this is possible because uh, uh, don't forget that uh, this bacterium will multiply by the method binary fission and uh, uh, when uh, we provide all favorable conditions for the bacteria 
so then uh, they divide for every 20 minutes and uh, you can calculate uh, uh, that uh, like this okay 250 grams of bacteria within 20 minutes will become uh, 500 grams of bacteria 500 grams of bacteria in another 20 minutes okay will become uh, 1000 grams bacteria 1000 grams will become 2000 so like that uh, you make a calculation and you will get uh, how many tons 25 tons per day so in that way uh, this biomass which is uh, uh, okay is dried up and it is used uh, as uh, food for uh, human beings and also uh, it is used as feed for the cattle that is uh, what uh, the speciality of uh, this uh, single cell protein